isn't that like the best Christmas present in the world? Well, when that, you get delivered a piece of writing that this, you think, me, you're going to let me interpret this? Well, that's where you want to call him up and say, are you sure it's not Kenneth Jenkins? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's true. But it, that's what I love. That, that is something I love about this profession. Is mm -hmm. I don't know what's coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. I remember I left a theater because they wanted to sign a yearly contract. And I said, I don't want to do that. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm not risky in any other part of my life, but uh, I love not knowing what's coming up. So, Lori Metcalf. Lori Metcalf. That's your whole name. Yeah. Um, how did Lady Bird come to you? Um, I got a call from Greta Gerwig. And I had read the uh, script. I think I was on Scott Rudin's radar at the time. Mm. And he suggested me um, to be in, in the cast. And he, uh, he produced the play you did, right? He did, A Doll's yeah. House Part oh, 2. Oh, yes. Yeah. We had a great chat on the phone. And um, I, I had responded to the material anyway. And it's so beautifully written. How could you not? I know, right? It's That's all on the page. Yeah. It's uh, rare when you see something that is, uh, it's just all the answers are right there. And that's, that's how the shoot was. It's kind of the only place you can look for them. It's yes. right there. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, and by talking to Greta, I, I knew that she knew exactly where the key moments were going to be. I could, I could identify with the mother-daughter clashing. You know, I had a teenager at home, but um, I knew that she saw all of her characters as three-dimensional. You know, like the um, drama teacher is not just a drama teacher. Hilarious. You know, everybody has, has uh, a story. As in the shape of water, yeah. Because I don't know if you saw that on the page, also. I did, I did. I, so beautifully written. It, you know, he's he. I got an email from him. I I never met him. Hi, Richard. This is Guillermo del Toro. Um, I want you to play Giles. Can't Where do you look for um, the mom in Lady Bird? It's right on the page. It was on that's, the page. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew what I identified with, and then. Honest, honest to God, I fully, I trusted Greta so much because she knew when these moments of little deftly places, moments of heart were going to be, softness were going to be, so it wasn't always, every time you saw them together, because it's the only moment in their lives that you see this little sliver of time where they're just at, you know, the passive aggressive and, you know, the, and, all, and it's very, the intensity. And so, it's but she just lays in a few little grace notes of this other Well, the singing side. in the car. The scene in the car was it, so much fun and to, to work on because, you know, when, it, when you have a piece of material that is, it has a little bit of length to it, so you can get some traction going, yeah. you know, and, and also it, it went from A to Z. There's, there's humor in it, there's intensity, there's, you know, uh, emotion in it at the top, listening to the, you know, book on tape. Oh. And... And you have that luxury of it being in one long take where you don't have to worry about overlaps, which yeah. are so fun to do when you can just talk over each other. Yeah. And so it's fun yeah. to get a thing Act like that natural, up to but speed. Don't talk over her life. That's right. Yeah. That's how, right. How does that work? I That's don't, right. I, don't I know. Yeah. That's a skill unto itself, isn't well, it? Well, that came with thank goodness for these because the little mics. Now, now we can do that mm -hmm. because it it just takes the life out of. A yes, scene I know. When, when you have to wait. My name is Lady Bird. Uh, well, actually, it's not, and it's ridiculous. Call me Lady Bird, like Christine. you said you would. Just you should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail and then back to City College and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up. I, I was thinking about you last night and about that movie and not only that movie, everything. Roseanne, it, you're hilarious, but you're also, it's just so freaking heartbreaking. I mean, it's just, and, and to, the only way it's going to be funny is, it, is if it is, because it's not, you're not playing a character. It's just this, you're this woman on screen living your life. And I, I, I is it, do you do this also? Do you look for the humor in the drama and then the drama in the humor? I know you do. Yeah. I know you do because do. that's what, here, here's what you do. You are the, in my opinion, the perfect blend of the emotional side, whatever that is, you know, comedy, drama, or whatever is going on in the scene, the heart of it, and the technique. Because you are, you, you have such a delicate hand of being able to put, 
in humor, whether it looks thrown away or whether it's over the top and, be, you know, mm. brah, brah. you have, that's the perfect blend. I have no idea what I do. Well, we can't talk about what we do, <laughs> know, really, we because yeah. I, I stumped myself. I was asked to go in for the first time ever ages ago and, like, teach a class, a, uh -huh. a scene study class. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, what, what do I do? And I couldn't even verbalize. I didn't know what it was. It kind of forced me to think about. Well, maybe that's why one doesn't like watching yourself because yeah. what you think you did and what you see are never the same. That's right. That's right. I don't like seeing. You know, the, oh, my look at my face. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's, it's interesting. I have an I had an old coach, a guy, not an old coach, but years ago. He said, "Do you watch yourself?" I said, "I can't stand." It. He said, "Well, you better get used to it." And it, it's. It, I, I force myself to watch myself. Yeah, I know it's you still can, hard. It's very hard. It's but, really hard. But but um, you can learn. You can learn from it. All that I've ever been brought me here to him. See, you're saying him. It's a him now. It's a. Ow, you just hit me. Oh, Eliza, let go of me. I'm looking. I'm looking. You've never wait, you hit me. Theater. Yeah. So Trinity Rep, mm -hmm. which is has been in existence longer than Steppenwolf. Yeah. Yeah, so do you um, did you did, do you love doing theater? I love going to the theater. Oh, really? I did it for so many years. Yeah. Did you burn out on, like I, on the I, schedule of it? I did. Yeah. I did four plays a year for 15 years. Yeah. And I just I, I but, you know, the truth is, I always wanted to be in movies mm -hmm. since I was in DeKalb, Illinois. Mm -hmm. I never saw a play. But he used mm -hmm. to go to the movies and say, mm -hmm. how, how do you do that? What is, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how, how do you do that? I know, didn't you think it was unattainable, and, right? And so that's why I ended up in the theater, because that's yeah. what you did. Yeah. And I loved it. Oh, please, give me, I loved it. And, and um, I still direct in the theater, but um, I always wanted to be in film. And when the opportunity came, I just took it. And I haven't been on the stage in years. Now you, you know, you. Yeah, I keep go going back, back there. I think because I came up in it. Most actors do, I think. Yeah. Most theater actors who go, get into movies yeah. go back. I feel like I know more what I'm doing when I'm uh, on a stage. Really? Yes. That's... I've never gotten used to the other way of working. Really? Mm -mm. In Lady Bird? That mm. seems very, seems like it flowed. Well, um, it's just a, uh, I like the routineness of theater. I like the long extended rehearsal time. Um, and, mm. and, that, and that's when you're in the rehearsal room and you're using this set of skills, you know, of coming up with, you know, going down these different paths and mapping out your, and then a different set of skills for getting through the four month run. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'm just like a, a theater rat that yeah. way, you know? Yeah, I, I love rehearsals too. It's mm -hmm. just performing after a while I don't. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I like directing in the theater. I love the process. I love, I love, I love the fact that you don't have to make decisions, mm -hmm. that you, you can just, you know, because I think when you make a decision, like in the theater, okay, let's put a door here, and then you're stuck with that. That's mm -hmm. dead now. Mm -hmm. That you can't. You know, two weeks down the road, you may no. say, oh, "I wish that door was over there." Yeah. So I like holding off and and not making decisions. Movies, you got to do it. I, would I like that too? Do you ever rehearse for movies? Uh, we had a small rehearsal time for uh, Lady Bird. How long was it? Oh, well, Greta would just meet with us either in pairs or individually. Okay. But that was it. Yeah, I couldn't even say, say it amounted to a couple of weeks maybe, but it was just very mm. Well, it's funny because Guillermo, he used it really interesting. He really, for Sally, uh, Sally Hawkins and me, it was a time for us to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And he almost like pushed us together. Um because we have to be friends in the movie. Mm -hmm. And we became friends in about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I love the way he used rehearsal. I loved, he didn't try to say, this is what this scene is, this is what that scene is. He just wanted us to, to hang out and talk. Was this around the table? Around the table, we went out, we, we, Sally and I would sit around, she would do sign language, I would, I would watch trying to figure it out. And, can't, can't talk faster than she's signing. Right. Um, and we just hung out. We did a little dance thing that she was right. working on. I did. Uh, it was very. I thought it used rehearsal for film really well because when you start in a, on a movie, rehearsal period in a play, you get to know everybody. If you don't, mm -hmm. and, and but you start in a movie for the first week, it's like you don't mm -hmm. you don't know anybody. You want to shoot it all again. And Guillermo, I loved what he did with that. I thought it was uh, um, really helpful.
I saw that you loved your set, right? When you first walked onto your set, oh, and my, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's like detailed. It, yeah, it is. It's incredible. It's what I thought movie sets were going to be like when I was in Lush. college. It, it, it's everything in on that set was authentic, and nothing was real. Ah. It was it was a concept. Mm. Brilliant. The paint was red, and underneath the peeling paint was green, and underneath that was a blue, and and it was. It was the most beautiful poverty I've ever, I mean, it just was incredible. And Greta had a, had a set like that also, Lady Bird's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Every detail and in there you know was what? a 17-year-old girl. And while had been she's living, talking, I'm yeah, looking at the walls I know, and listening had, to her. I know, had incredible. been living there since, you know, <clears throat> since she was born. Yeah. I, and I you could that. see it all yeah. on the wall. And, and then I love that she painted it over. Yes. <laughs> Just in I, silence, I know. you know, got rid of all, but scratched that, out the boyfriend's name. That's really brave. I don't know if brave is the word, but it's smart of Greta Gerwig to mm -hmm. do this because a lot of people would say, oh, that's distracting, all that mm. stuff. And you have to see her. You, have, you don't have to see her. You, you're hearing her. You're looking at her, but you're also looking at her world and understanding her. With this, I mean, I love that stuff. Yeah, I, that's like in the theater. You you forget sometimes, like you, somebody comes on stage and they're saying lines and you haven't seen the play has just begun you have not not seen anything you're kind of hearing the lines but you're taking in the visual it's all the visual right right you're Listen, looking at the body language and the set and, in you life know. we hear yes, about half of what's said to exactly. us exactly you know and so but on the stage or in movies people listen it's only yeah yeah yeah, you know, yeah. No, no. yeah, yeah. It, it's just you know you, you know you just gotta let it come to you so if you're tired, we can sit down. I'm not tired. Oh, okay. I just couldn't tell because you were dragging your feet. Well, I just couldn't tell. Why didn't you just say pick up your feet? I didn't know if you were tired. You were being passive aggressive. No, I you wasn't. You are so infuriated. Please stop yelling. I'm not yelling. I find press something that I didn't know was in the cards. Right. And, and you know, the fact is I'm grateful that anybody would ask me to do it. I mean, it's very flattering and it's nice. It's, but And it's great promotion. It that's is, what it's about. It, it, you know, that's it, what it's And for. especially if you love the movie. Yes, and you doing. want to support it. And but I didn't know this was part of the deal. No, and, I didn't. And it's I one of the reasons no. I became an actor is so I didn't have to, to be on TV do, and talk to people yeah, as or me. Or do any part of a <laughs> business side of something. Yeah, I yeah. just, I, I feel inadequate. And kind of like I feel when I'm acting, but yeah. uh, so <laughs> yeah. do you, I mean, do you, I feel like I have nothing to say, and no, yet I, I know. never shut up. I, I know because like I mean, we don't have any lines to hide behind, oh, yeah. a, a character to hide hide behind. I've got about nine stories that I tell. I, I got to get a story. <laughs> you got to find one. I oh, do. There, there. I got to scramble there. for a yeah, story. Yeah, you got stories. But it, yeah, I had no idea that you know you 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 wrap a movie, and then you're off for a year, you're away from it for a year, and then you go back and start, you know, talking about it, talking about it and, and reliving it. And it's, it's um, I'm just, it was, I, I didn't know that it came with the game. I, I had no idea. Uh, yeah, and it's, um, it's not that I hate it. I just don't want to be exposed. Yes. As a dipshit. Yeah, you know, me that, too. That's the no, thing. Yeah, that's my biggest fear. And, so, and, you know, too late now, man. anything I'm and just, <laughs> it's too, we've blown it. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. You know, uh, the, even in print, I mean, I I'll, I'll hear something oh, come out worst. of my mouth and I think, oh, that's well, worst. that's I'm that sounds like I I sound like an idiot. But in print, I'm going to look even more like an idiot. Why does it look even worse? I don't know. It right? looks worse. It always looks worse. It's a lose lose situation. And they say we're talking about something. And then he said, and it's the dullest, I know, stupidest I response. know it. She has a big heart, your mom. She's warm, but she's also kind of scary. You can't be scary and warm. I think you can. Your mom is. I actually like to audition. I prefer to audition for something because I, I don't want to walk onto a stage and, and or a set. And, and, and they say, oh, that's not what we thought. Yeah, we yeah, they yeah. were so far away from yeah. what I thought you were yeah, going to bring right. in. I, I would feel more comfortable I, to audition and say, here's my take on it. Take it or leave we're it. We're both really secure about this stuff. We're Midwesterners. <laughs> we're a couple of hicks that I know. I, I, somehow got to be on this. I, I auditioned, the last time I auditioned, I went in to audition for um, ne Nebraska. Oh. Uh, the Bruce Dern part, Bruce Dern played, because mm -hmm. they said, I was too, they talked to me about some other part, but I said, no, I, uh, that's the part I I auditioned for that too. The Bruce Dern part? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we both. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I just said, well, I, I want to come in and read, if you don't mind. And, yes. And uh, so, but, so I don't mind auditioning. No, I don't I mean, either. I really don't mind. 
Um, but I still get nervous. I do too. Yeah. Oh, I'm terrified. But I used to have to, when I was in Rhode Island, I would get a call to come in and audition in New York and I would take the train and this is mm -hmm. before they sell Express. And it was four and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And if we were lucky. And I used to go in and it would be literally my line, freeze. Thank you. I said, I got a five hour train ride back home. I did this for 20 years. <laughs> It's just, but I liked auditioning because it was a chance to act. Um, and what? Tell me about on the visitor because you were the lead, and that was new, right? Yes, just first, the first time. Just um, did you like it? I did. And did you know that you had to pace yourself, or did you know um, how? Just how was it? I I've, I've always only just popped in and out of a movie role, especially. And you'd be there for yeah. weirdly like th five days and then you're just gone. Well, and you, it was, you know, it was like you couldn't go to craft service. It was like, you know, you're, you're, in, you're in this. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Can yeah, I yeah, just yeah. Um, I really liked it. I liked it because of Tom McCarthy. Tom McCarthy made it. That was a three-week rehearsal period mm. where we just talked mm. and read and talked and read and rewrote and read and talked and went out to lunch, went out to dinner, became friends. And then when we started, we were ready to go. I liked it. I liked the fact that that he left the camera on. You know, I wasn't there popping in and out. I was, the camera yeah. was there. And, and, you and did you feel like you had that kind of traction where, you know, I find it sometimes harder to do the little pop-ins, the little drop-ins, and, I, and the fewer lines that you have, all of harder. a sudden you're like, I can't no, remember my line, harder, but I can no, still, no. but I can it, learn after, something that's it longer. It took about a week, and then I really mm, Then you got into the rhythm? I, uh, w once I knew he was happy with mm -hmm, it. Yeah. Because if you're, you know, button you heads trust, or you, yeah. yeah. Um, but I remember sitting at Toronto for the first screening and thinking, a, a thought occurred, had not occurred to me before, if this movie doesn't work, it's my fault. And well, there's that. There is isn't that. It? Yes. And then I started to understand what it means to carry a film. And, yeah. and these actors, the, who they pay a ton of money to, there's yeah. a reason. Yeah. And the responsibility is yeah. huge. Yes. And I had never had to deal with that. And even my was on a small scale as compared to, you know, like Tom Hanks. And the, yeah. But it, it's a huge responsibility. Yes. Was there, were there many rewrites in um, The Shape of Water? Yeah, there were as we went. The first script I read, really, the rewrite of that was big uh -huh. uh, when I started shooting. But like you, the character of Giles was three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a supporting part to move the story along. No. He really had his own life, and he just happened to get caught up in this other world. Um, I love that. I love the fact that that there was an arc. There was a this guy was, um, you know, he was trying to make his own life right. He wasn't just there for her. Isn't it fun to work for somebody, a director, who has done all? the homework, has a clear vision, and is so passionate about what the, isn't it fun just to support that? It is, it is, but I didn't, I didn't really understand the vision until I saw the movie. Mm. I thought I did, but this guy is like, he's just, he thinks in a way that, I, I was like, oh, Guillermo. Um, you'd, you'd get outside of the vision once in a while, you have to push you back in, and you, and you went, okay, but I wasn't, again, I thought I knew what it was, but until I saw it, I was, um, I didn't have a clue. It's fascinating to see the rest of the movie. It is. Isn't it? it the is. stuff that you have no clue what's been going on <laughs> every other day that you're not there. It's like, fascinating. Oh, but the way he cut it, you know, the mm. whole th I knew eggs were important and I saw the scenes and I read the script, but to see what he did with all yeah, that. Yeah, right. Just, I, I was, I, I, it blew me away. But he, he was incredibly generous and he's hysterically funny. And I, I did the one day, I said, Guillermo, I gotta change this up. It's just not happening, it's not. He said, oh yeah, fine, fine. So I do it, and he said, good. I said, okay, he said, do you wanna kinda cover it in a different way? He goes, Richard, we are not that kind of men. We do it, we believe it, we do it. Nice. I said, great, Guillermo. Nice. About an hour later, he comes back and says, I think maybe we'll shoot it in the <laughs> <laughs> and big grin on his face. Oh, that's I mean, he's, great. He was hysterical. He was, um, you know, he watches. He really watches what you do. Yeah, so sometimes you get people that just look for something. Yeah. 
and they don't see what's going on around them. Guillermo sees everything. He yeah. sees everything. And, um, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's cool. And Sally Hawkins is about as fabulous as they yeah. come. Just as Yeah, genuine. she's wonderful in it. Oh, God. She's yep. cool. Everybody is. Yeah, they are. Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon's great in it. Yeah. Octavia Spencer. Yeah. Great. Michael Stuhlbarg is yeah. fabulous in it. I know. What it's a, a great group. I yes. know. I know. It was, uh, as is yours. I mean. You, ours was oh, a very tight group also. Tracy, that's fantastic. I know. It. You know, Tracy and I go back. I know. 30 years maybe. Uh, no. at, at Steppenwolf. Had never worked together before. This really? is the first time. I saw him in Middletown in, at Steppenwolf. Mm. Mm. He was so good. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite role? Is that part of the, the, the is I, that even in your brain? Uh, I think every role that I that has just ended was kind of my favorite it, until I'm on to the next hello, one, hello. right? Yeah. yeah. That's the one you're thinking about. Yeah. You know, yeah. takes care of everything. That's so right. so when you, what do people recognize you as? What, what do they say to you? Isn't it funny? You see somebody who, and you can tell that they know you. They, they, they're not sure if it's from high school or what it's from. And they're, they're coming towards you. And, and you can't, I can never guess what they're going to pick out. Could be from TV, could be from theater, could be, so, you know, it's always, I, I can never guess. But um, uh, I still get some people that remember Roseanne. It depends on the age. Some people, a lot of people have aged out of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. It's really nice to get some people from getting on an HBO thing that I really had a re really great time working on. And then if I'm walking around New York, it's fun that the theater, the, the theater that, the, that somebody will have just said, just saw your play last hey, week. Is, they shouted across the street. It, that's a great like feeling. Being in a hit play on Broadway. In New York there's City. nothing like it. Oh, is that's it? cool. It is. Yeah, it, it is. is. I agree. I think at Christmas time is even better. Than, yep. Um But but to be in a hit in, in New York yes. is really great. Yeah. Never done it, but I. Every time I go to the theater and I see one of these plays, I think, "Oh, you lucky dogs! You must yeah. be having a ball." Yeah. Yeah. And you? What do you have a favorite <clears throat> role? No, I don't. I um, right now Giles in yes. Shape of Water. I I love that. Um, Henry. In Olive Kittredge, yes, I, I loved. You're so and perfectly cast in that. That was, you know, Beautiful. those things. It just, you know, the visitor, and um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, but I don't, you know, I try not to have a favorite because. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you pour everything into each one of them. You know, you, at the time they're your favorite. Yeah, and you go on to other things. Mm -hmm. you know.